In uh, northern part of India, presently in the region of Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh, there was a yogi. He was committed to one aspect of Shiva, which was called Alak Niranjan. Alak means that which is not perceivable that we cannot see, hear, smell, taste. Niranjan means that which is colorless. That which is colorless, you can anyway not see, hear, smell, taste. The same thing, but Alak Niranjan, Shiva Shambhu, same thing <laughs> He went from home to home because this was the nature of spiritual people and the culture and the civilization was so friendly to spiritual seekers. When they see a sannyasi or a mendicant who has dedicated his life to his spiritual process, others who have their own money, who have their own homes, always made sure that they ate because they are not earning their own living, they don't have a home of their own, they've made the world their home. So when a sannyasi or a mendicant came in front of the house, nobody said no. Whatever they could give, always it was given. And they were never asked for anything more than what they need for that day's nourishment. They didn't take money, they took only food. So he was going from home to home, Alak Niranjan, Alak Niranjan. One day, he came and stood in front of a wealthy home and said, Alak Niranjan. The lady of the house doesn't want to come out by herself. She sent the maid in the house to give him some grain so that he can eat. But she stood behind the door and looked at him. He was a young sadhu with big bright eyes and she was drawn to him. Next day when he came and said, Alak Niranjan, she herself came to give the alms. And she looked at his eyes and she fell into them. Then she went inside the house and felt ashamed. She's a married woman. And what am I doing? But his eyes occupied her completely. Next day when he came, with the arms she ran to the door. She looked at his eyes, she gave him the arms and said, I am completely taken by your eyes. I can fall into them and disappear, actually I have already. He said, Alak Niranjan, Alak Niranjan and left. Next day he came again, he said, Alak Niranjan. She came to the door, so he had a plate and he said, yesterday you said, you love my eyes, here I have brought them. He had plucked his eyeballs out. and placed it in her hands and said, Alak Niranjan and walked away. He's willing to become blind so that her inner eyes open up.
these are the yogis and mystic of the world ram alaknirancha alaknirajana kilgil gunjan hava bhaya banjan bhairagi dadadada bhadan bharadinudan bikshayu yadan asogi cha चर्चित भस्मोत्वर्चित मधुर सुंदर संयासी अलग निरंजन गिल गिल गोजन भजन आइए तगदो को मुता चौकी नीरे गे तालिया तालिया तल दली one who has seen the world beyond color beyond taste beyond perception of the senses so in 21st century this yogi would be considered an absolute idiot that he pulled his eyeballs out so that's how life is well <laughs> there's a big question right now in my, many people's minds and the doctor who treated me repeatedly asked me sadguru why are you doing this so uh, you know i started having excruciating pain six weeks before the surgery and i know that i have neurological issue i thought somehow i'll finish my schedule a few things to do mahashivratri and a few commitments in delhi and chennai and then i thought i kept one month in united states except for one darshan i had a free one month i thought i'll fix myself but all this activity mahashivratri first bleed happened 6 weeks ago mahashivratri gave a second bleed then i went to chennai and back and then went to delhi Fifteenth evening, I had a commitment. The doctor had did an MRI, and he said, "No way, you can do this." Then I said, "It's a private event; I will do it." He said, "Okay," but the next day's event, sixteenth event, is a public event. You cannot do this because the median, the central median between the two lobes, had moved eight millimeters off. Twelve is fatal. I said, "No, I have to do it." So I did that event. It was a forty-five minute event. By the end of forty-five minutes, my left leg was beginning to act funny. 
So I came out and had an MRI. So it said it's moved 11.5 millimeters. Doctor said, this is crazy. Shall I do this, shall I do that? I said, doctor, I've crossed all lines, do whatever you want. I went straight in and they did a surgery. And uh, here I am, day before yesterday he called me and asked many questions about my faculties and cognition. So I said, everything is okay. He said, this is extraordinary, this recovery in a matter of four weeks. Well, uh, when I saw my left leg is behaving funny, I knew it could be fatal of course, that is easy. But uh, you could have left side paralysis, which is a common thing, or you could lose your voice, or uh, you could lose your vision. I was little not okay with vision loss. Then a month ago, this German girl came to the ashram, who has been born blind. And she's learned Indian music and Indian chants and she sings wonderfully well. And I thought about her, this girl is blind from birth and she's so joyful. I thought maybe it'll be okay. I want you to see her. Mano Bhutyaham Kaar Chita Ninaham Nacha Shrotra Jehve Nacha Krana Netre Nacha Vyoma Bhume Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Sadhguru created safe soil. Now let's save Sadhguru with this healing mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantraye Amrit Kalashahastaya Sarvamaya Vinashanaya Trilokya Nathaya Mahavishnave Namo Namaha Mahavishnave So, I want you to understand, we are this sort of people who throw away our lives for small things. I've done that many times, but this time it became very public <laughs> Otherwise, many times it's happened for little things I've thrown away my life. It's yo yoed back to me. Four weeks ago, look at me, sitting in Bali. It's back. Uh, the, because somebody, my partner doesn't want me dead yet. <clears throat> but if you try to save yourself, you don't know the value of life. So knowing this, before you decide anything, I want to remind you that you are with somebody who is willing to throw his life away for small things. Knowing that, you decide. Suddenly in the middle of something, one of you will stand up and say, Sadhguru, what about astrology? Your brains are in the wrong place <laughs> That's what it means 